as you can see, I am back with Maria. And we are out here representing our very <laughs> favorite football teams, not only with our t-shirts, but with this amazing game day snack stand. <laughs> I mean, it's more than a snack stand, really, Maria. I, I, yeah. it, it is, it's a party on a table. It's a party on a table. Listen, <laughs> I am here for the food, I have to say. And you know what? I love the tailgating aspect of football because it's of about the food. It is about the community. Yeah. It's so much fun. So as you know, I went to Florida State and I have some really great memories of going there oh, and going to the college games. ball on there, Saturdays. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, this is what you do on Saturdays. That's right. And then I root for Detroit Lions on Sundays, which is why I'm wearing the shirt. And I think everybody knows <laughs> I root for the Dallas Cowboys, which by the way, two two week winning streak. Just saying, just saying. You know, there's a little bragging involved there, I think. <laughs> all right, you're gonna show us how to make this. And although it does look, it makes quite an impact on anyone's table, you say anybody at home can do it. You don't even have to be a DIYer, Exactly, right? so here's the thing. One of my absolute favorite things to do as a DIYer is use something that's a blank slate, something really simple, basic, that you can get at the craft supply store and make something really major right. with it, something that anybody can do at any DIY level. So what's great about this is all these supplies can be found at your craft supply store. Okay. Okay. We're very simple. We're not very nailing simple. anything. We're exactly. not hammering. We're using glue guns. Glue guns and exacto knives, there my friends. There you go. And some foam core. And some foam core. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for this bleacher, you can see here, this is, I'm going to turn it so you can see the top. My idea with the bleacher was that I really wanted to create something that had that vintage, very nostalgic, like, it. you know, bleacher look that you think of when you went to high school football right. games. So in order to accomplish this, this, Deb, is called balsa wood. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah, you, it's yeah. soft, it's light, it's just, and mm -hmm. that's really what it is, is just a soft wood. And like I said, you get this at the craft supply store, and Deb, you only need an X-Acto knife for this. So what I would recommend doing, it would take just maybe a few scores, so you do this, and you can use a ruler aside, you know, from it, and then you can get a really nice cut into it, just like this. You know what's uh, balsa wood? Yeah. The, the, paper, the airplanes that we used to make as kids. Oh, really? You put them together. Yeah. All those sort of like, do you remember getting things and? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I ever did, did those you, Debbie's your at your, no, I have That's a sister. Why. That's why. My brother would put together those those paper, they weren't paper airplanes, they were balsa wood planes. That is they came with glue and the oh whole thing. Gosh. They were made out of this. Wow. Debbie, you DIY are you? Oh, yes. And so, <laughs> and so in order to get that sort of vintage look on the side, you just go in with your X-Acto knife and kind of mess around a little bit with that. Oh, and I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to flip this over here so you can see. So what you want to do, so just cool. like that, you can see these little lines here. These are really great to give that kind of vintage look. And then you stain it, Deb. Oh, so what you want to so. do with the staining is... I love it, Maria. I personally, for this, you did an aging stain and then did a regular stain over it. Okay. You really want to do that so it goes into the little cracks and crevices. And then that is your bleacher. Okay. Now, our bleacher stand, is that also made out of balsa wood? So the bleacher stand is foam core. I, you nice. guys know my love for foam core. So it comes in big sheets, really inexpensive, big okay. sheets. So something kind of, you can cut down to something like this. And this is going to uh, help with your sizing as well. So, for instance, you can see the the tiers of these are five inches apart because you want to be able to have the tiers and have it be even. Oh, yeah, they're five okay. five inches higher than the previous okay. one. Okay. So, but in order to get your your width of it, so you can do five inches high. In order to figure out your width, you have your two pieces of your wood together, and then you cut it so that it would fit. The Straight width, across. The width. Yeah. Okay. So you can see the design here is something that it's just an added sort of benefit uh, to make it look really cool. Okay. And of course, double set it here. And you spray painted them silver. Spray painted them silver. And you want to do spray paint and you want to obviously do it on both sides to make it look cohesive, but you want to do it on both sides also, Deb, because uh, otherwise the foam core could bevel. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is do a little bit of the hot glue. Okay. I'll do it here too. And you don't have to glue the balsa wood together because this is no. This will all place. this will all stay together because of doing this. So, what you do, Deb, if you want to hold this one for me, okay, just hold it in place there, for a second. And there, and then, um, so you can go ahead and do this depending on your size. You might need three. You might need four. So as you can see, I have three here. But if you did the bigger size that's over here, you might need four to kind of keep it up. So and you, you made a little that. design that gets taller and taller. Exactly. It's adorable. And if you want, you can add little details into here. So we'll let this kind of dry. Okay. Oops, let this let dry that here. Sit up for a and second. after that is when you can add your sort of like other details that support it and make it look really kind of uh, like an actual bleacher. Bleacher. You could stop there, but if you're Maria Provenzano, you would never stop there. <laughs>
<laughs> and that's why you made this adorable white picket fence, which is behind the bleachers, made out of paint sticks, Isn't Maria. that so? This whole thing is practically free. It's practically free. It's amazing because you can put this absolutely anywhere. So this is the thing. With the paint sticks, they're so inexpensive. All you do is really line them up, and you can see here, it helps to do your ends first. Well, the paint sticks used to be free. They They're used to be free. They're now, not but free. They yeah. used to be free because I think, um, you know, the. So you can see. Yeah, all of the stores that we shop. Well, we all we go started shopping to realize that we all go get paint sticks. Exactly. So now they're charging everyone for paint sticks. Exactly. That's what's happening. It's because of us. And then you would fill with the other paint sticks and then paint it, Deb. Okay. And that's it. Easy and breezy. You, and, and how would you set that up? So this is so funny. Debbie came over. She's like, how is this standing? Yeah. Um, because so what we did for this specifically, we used some gaff tape to keep it up in the back. Okay. This is going to vary depending on where your tailgate is. If it's okay. in a car or if it's at your house, you could lean it against something. I wouldn't lean it against the bleachers. The bleachers are, because of what it is, are going to be lightweight. Right. So this what you're placing very... on there, keep that in mind. I wouldn't put like your pot of chili on top of there no, that'll or buckle. something like that. It'll buckle. So just keep that in mind in terms of what you're serving on there as well. Okay, it's adorable. The party is really coming together now. <laughs> I really appreciate the flags that are coming out of our buckets full of yes. sodas. The flags are for us, Deb. <laughs> so we are we are winning with the flags, I will say, because these are just uh, foam sheets. It's very simple. And so the way to get it to kind of look like it's Wave, sure. waving, grab your flat iron, and what you do is you kind of do this all over the sheet. Warm it up a little and bit. And warm it up a little bit. And after you do this, I will show you, you can kind of just pull as you do this, and this will kind of... Very malleable. Yes, and you want to make sure, you see I have those lines there? You want to make sure you do the whole thing, otherwise you'll see those little lines. And if you didn't have this, you could use felt. Right? You could absolutely sure. use felt. You don't, this is just a sort of like fun addition if you really want to uh, make it look really spectacular. But truthfully, Deb, if you have the pendants for your team already, oh, sure. that you, you know what I mean? If you go to just games, pop them you in. could just pop them in there. It's a fun way to add a little addition. And you can see there, it's already starting to look like it's blowing in the wind. Yeah. And you can add whatever kind of logo on there that okay. you want. Just, you can use some... Uh, like we have our HF right here. You could just do that. And use a dowel and make it, you know, put the dowel through the. So I just black. used a glue gun and wrapped it around here so you can see an example. Uh, so what I did here is I just wrapped it around. Okay. And when you wrap it, easy. you're gonna wanna cut your little excess off, and then that's it. That's how you do your flag. And I'd also like to point out oh. if you ever thought <laughs> that our DIYs are only for show yeah. and then you never see them again because they don't last, because they're not made well. You'd be wrong because you, this DIY here, the table runner, is something that Maria did probably five years it ago. It was about five years ago. Well done. Yes, Look at that and condition. so it's. I will tell you, DIYs. This is why you you DIY and not buy. Right. Because they will last, and then it has your sort of heart stamp on there. I brag about this. This is a really easy table runner and made with things you get at the craft supply store. Again, like everything Look. else, but it stands the test of time and I use it every football season and it still looks it's still a It's so cute. Well done, Maria. <laughs> that was a touchdown if oh. I've ever seen one. For full instructions, you all can go to hallmarkchannel.com and you can always visit Maria at fromscratchwithmaria.com.